Honorable Speaker and the grandson of the great land of Asumbi, I celebrate you, uh, Council. Allow me to rise and uh, support the adoption of the report from the Committee of uh, uh, Special Funds that is chaired by uh, the one and only Five Bar Network, the Honorable Fatuma. I celebrate you, my sister, and um, I want to probably uh, interrogate a few things for purposes of uh, contributing and representing the great people of Rangwe constituency. It mesmerizes me, Honorable Speaker, when we have to interrogate use of special funds to the extent, Honorable Speaker, that there could have been or there is a possibility of misuse of funds. If there is a possibility, an audit query or an audit report on the misuse of special funds by people, specifically Kenyans, who, whose charge has been put to these special funds, Honorable Speaker. What I'm asking, Honorable Speaker. Why are Kenyans stealing from the poor, Honorable Speaker? Why are we stealing from the poor, Honorable Speaker? Why are we stealing from the poor? Why are Kenyans enriching themselves at the expense of people who we are supposed to take care of as leadership at whatever echelon of leadership, Honorable Speaker? Honorable Speaker, we have special funds that are established by law and policy to get, take care of special needs. I would not say that we need to merge Urezo Fund together with Women Enterprise Fund. We merge it together with um, Youth Enterprise Development Fund. We merge this fund together with Strategic Food Reserve Fund. We merge Equalization Fund. We merge National Youth Service. We merge um, uh, Civil Servant Housing Scheme Fund. We cannot merge this thing so that we have a bigger fund for the imbeciles who position themselves to steal from Kenya, to steal from poor Kenyans. In any case, if we must, Honorable Speaker, if we must merge these funds, we can only merge them so that we can apportion part of these funds, Honorable Speaker, to subsidize the education which is going to be unaffordable for poor Kenyan children. I want to say this, Honorable Speaker. The education, higher education, middle level education, is being structured through reforms such that the ordinary poor Kenyan from Rangwe constituency is not going to study civil engineering, is not going to become an architect, is not. Let us match these funds instead of that, us having it stolen by some morons, put it together, put it on AGCDF, and what to party, let them give us this money we give to poor Kenyans as passaries. Honorable Speaker, we have young people in this country who require the Youth Enterprise Development Fund, Honorable Speaker. And allow me to loud one young youth, one young youth who is showing large signs of being a sure leader of today, not tomorrow. I want to talk about the Honorable Masi Tarus, who has come out to tell people who are stealing from the poor on their face that they are smooth liars, they lie with innocent smooth faces, and I'm telling you, Masita Rus, I want to go on record as a member for Rangwe constituency, fight on for young people, create your space. You said that you sell Uji, Masita Rus, 
go to the Youth Enterprise Development Fund. They are going to give you a loan, enlarge your Uji business, and God is going to bless you, my daughter. Why are we stealing from poor Kenyans on the Pacifica? On the Pacifica, we have a strategic food reserve trust fund, which is supposed to take care of and mitigate food insecurity matters in this country. We have a strategic food reserve trust fund. How many Kenyans die of hunger? It will not be long before we see on the speaker Kenyans, vulnerable Kenyans, vulnerable Kenyans who are supposed to depend on us, to whose charge we have been put die of hunger when there is such a noble fund. What happens? It is mismanaged, reports are brought, um, reports are brought before time, accounting officers don't want to give authentic reasons when they are audited. I thought, Honorable Speaker, that auditing is supposed to improve systems. Auditing is not supposed to be punitive, Honorable Speaker. Auditing is supposed to know how systems work, how systems need to improve. We need to identify system gaps through audits. But what happens when the accounting officers, when they see auditors, they run away. Why? Because they know their flaws in their books. We need to flush these people out, Honorable Speaker. I want to say we need to flush these imbeciles out and read Kenyan of thugs. Yeah, Honorable Dr. Lillian Gogo, um, uh, your passion is appreciated, but the word imbecile is not parliamentary. Could, could I withdraw, you, Honorable could, Speaker. Yeah, yeah, I withdraw and find a suitable replacement. A suitable replacement for imbeciles and morons, Honorable Speaker. These are people who are stealing from the poor. Order, order Dr. Lillian Gogo. I, I imagine you want to use the word uh, corrupt because moron is also not parliamentary. I appreciate you, Honorable Speaker. Can I use the better word thieves, Honorable Speaker? Because thieves is parliamentary, Honorable Speaker. What I'm saying, great grandson of Asumbi, who is a speaker on the table today, I am saying Kenyans need good leaders, focused leaders. Leaders who are people oriented, leaders who take Kenyan people at their interest. We need leaders, Honorable Speaker, who would want to put the country to the next level. Honorable Speaker, it is not about passion, it is about facts. For the time that I have been a leader, Honorable Speaker, I have interacted with people who literally want to steal from the public. It is not about my passion on what I'm talking about. I am talking about what I have palpated with my own hands, Honorable Speaker. The structure of government is to the extent that it can take care of its poor people, Honorable Speaker. And that is why these specific funds are established. And most people who stay in high-ranking government offices are well paid but the more people are paid, Honorable Speaker, the more they want to steal and big build the houses. Honorable Speaker, get, we need as a country to rid this country of thieves who target special funds. We must do that as a nation. The executive must address that, Honorable Speaker. And I want to say, leadership should stop rewarding their relatives with special funds, Honorable Speaker. We need to target the poor. We need to help the poor, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, from the point where I stand, as Dr. Lilian Achim Gogo, I will stand with the poor, beginning with Rangwe constituency. I thank you for the time, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Lilian Gogo. Would we have um, Honorable uh, Titus Lote, MP for Kachaliba? Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. As I stand to support 
the report by the special fund, my attention is drawn to the equalization fund uh, part of the report, uh, Mr. Speaker.